Charles Rogie. Welcome to my farm. My farm is located in Orangeville, Illinois. Orangeville is a population of 370 people. Orangeville is in Cass County. Orangeville is home of Burris Seed Farms, which is a local producer of seed corn and seed beans. Um, they And there's also a fertilizer and chemical plant and also it's an elevator so that's convenient for all the farmers so they can haul their grain there and three beard implement is in Arnsville Illinois case I H which is very convenient for my farm because we are a red farm and as the sign says home of the world's best burgoo Almost every family I know in Orangeville is an agricultural family. Our family farm has been in the family for four generations. My grandparents have passed away, so it's up to just my dad and his two brothers and me. We are considered a really fa small farm operation, but this farm supports three families. But the wives still have to work too. We take care of about 3,400 acres. That includes 3,200 acres of crops, 150 acres of pasture, 85 acres of hay, and three acres of delicious rogi sweet corn. We also have 60 cows, and they will be bred to have calves in the fall and spring. There are several locations of our farm. We have the main farm, which is kind of our home base, and each of our houses have buildings and equipment and cattle. Today I'm at the main farm, and we have the office, and I'll show you around. At the office, we take breaks, do paperwork, um, pay bills, and dream about equipment over the computer. The main farm is where we keep our big equipment shed and our machine shop and cattle. Um, oh, we also have bins. We have 12 bins here. And this is our machine shop where we work on all of the equipment. And we usually work on all of our equipment from changing the oil to fixing parts. And as you can see, there is a tractor and silage chopper in there. And so the silage chopper is not used for our regular corn. We have somebody else do that. And we just use that to chop our sweet corn when the sweet corn has no more ears. So in here we have our tools, a torch, a welder, grinder, air compressor, power washer we and i have learned a whole new vocabulary in here with my dad and uncles working on equipment and this is our small office where we do all kinds of paperwork and we look at machines like my dad is right now and we dream over them and right now my brother's in here with my dad and so we do all kinds of stuff in here and this is our little diagram of our bins and all the different farms we have and it shows like what we have in those bins so my brother doesn't work on the farm because it's not very safe for him because he has down syndrome so let's keep going these are our bins where we keep all of our stuff and so that new shiny one holds about 24,000 bushel and we just put it up last year and that one we put up this year and it's our new drying bin so let's keep moving and this is our big machine shed where we keep all of our equipment or some of our equipment some of it is at our my dad and uncle's houses um and I'm gonna show you our newest piece of equipment over here it's our new Case IH sprayer. 
It's used in self-propelled, but it's new to us. We're still doing a little bit of work on it, so I'll show you the inside real quick. This is the inside of our sprayer, and we got, it's a very big cab, and it's got the throttle, the monitors, and the steering wheel, and as you can see, there's a combine and a couple other tractors out there. But this sprays our crops for weeds. So let's keep moving. And this is our big combine. And as you can see, it's bigger than what you thought, as you can see in the sprayer, because the sprayer is also very big. Our combine is a 7230 case. And so it has duels, and we use it to harvest all of our stuff. And this is our skid steer, which moves our seed pro boxes and it moves silage. And then back here is the planter and this is our 290 tractor. And this is a bulk fill 16 row Case IH planter and it plants the seed into the ground. So it hooks up and so we put the seed in those boxes and it puts and it augers it into these planters and it plants it into the ground. And here are our semis and this one, the red one, it says Rogi Brothers on the side. And this one has a sleeper so you can sleep in the back of it. There's a bed back there. And then this one that says Rogi Brothers does not have a sleeper. And right now it has a hopper bottom on the back. This one usually has a hopper bottom but we unhooked it. So, um, and to unload it, we kind of have to, there's not the thing here, but there's a handle that you use to crank it. And then you crank it the other way to close it. Um, and we have a spray trailer that this semi pulls. So, and now I'll go show you the cattle. This is our cattle shed where we sort all the cows out. And these are a few of our cows. Two of them are mine and two of them are my cousins. So mine is the black one and the white one and the red ones are my cousins. So the black one is candy and the white one is sugar. So this cow wants petted. You can pet them sometimes if they're nice enough. But so we got babies in the lick you. And the babies are out there weaned from their mom so they don't keep drinking their milk. So now let's keep on moving. And this is our head gate where we give the cows a shot so they don't get sick and their back poor for the flies. So the cows go into the catch shed and we move them through and get them into here and we got to push a gate so they don't come out. And I learned the hard way you always want to keep it like this because I got whacked in the nose with it. So. And then we put them in here and their head gets caught to where they can't move. And then once they get all their shots to make sure they don't get sick and their fly stuff, they go right out there and graze in the pasture. And this is where we feed the cows in the winter. There are babies out there. They're usually a little shy. So, um, and we put all the cows in here and they eat their pellets, which are a little thing that the cows eat gluten pellets and out there is where we feed them silage in the winter and then we got a couple cows in there and so let's keep them moving although we're a red farm we got this one green piece of equipment and it's our gator and it holds our buckets to feed and it's easy to make short trips with we work on fence with it and we just feed the cows every day with it so Let's keep moving. And this is one of our bins closer up. And then we got a auger right here that augers the crop out of the bin into the um, semi or wagon or whatever. And you have to have a tractor here to hook up the PTO to to give the auger power to move. And the cows seem to be hungry here. 
So there's a hole here so we can fit this under it and then we flip this over and there's a little conveyor under it and it takes a, um, grain and corn and beans up into the semi. So let's keep going. Part of our farming operation is hay to give to our cattle. And after we mow it, which I hopefully think that you saw the mower in there, we tet it in these prongs right here, spin around and around and fling the hay out so it dries. And then this rake here, these wheels spin on the ground. As you can see, the color's kind of wearing off. And it spins and it makes it into a windrow, which the baler will drive over. So, and there we have another sweet corn patch, so let's keep moving. And here is my great uncle George's melon patch, but now that he's older, I've kind of started helping him. We got our melon patch, and he's got a cucumber plant right back there. And then we've got another sweet corn patch right there and so the sweet corn is we drive down the rows we have a planter that plants it and we plant four rows or eight rows at a time and then we have a little gap that our four-wheeler drives down and our four-wheeler is pulling a wagon and my dad and my uncle pick and then me and my cousin carry the corn to the grain or the we call it the semi but it's the wagon so we take it down and then we have a stand up there and but this patch kind of burned up so we won't get too much sweet corn out of it so um we got this bigger patch and then we got the bales down there and the, so that let's just keep on moving i'm standing on top of the bale right now and hopefully we'll have bales until next summer so we can don't run out of them and then we have bales down there and then the rest of the bales down there so we feed these bales to the cows and as you can see it has wrap right here to keep the bale together and the cows can't eat that so we have to unwrap it and then take the wrap into the tractor and then go throw it away but we have to put unwrap the bale and take it in so and then we put it into a bale feeder so let's keep moving hi guys we're here at my house now and those are my other cows coming in here so and like i said earlier we feed them gluten pellets and these are pellets and they are made out of corn and the cows like to eat them so they're coming in real quick. There you go, girl. Sometimes they'll let you pet her. Um, this is Violet. This is Sue. So we go to Decatur ADM to get pallets a couple times a year. And um, we get a semi load of them. This is Violet. She's shy. shy. Hey, Sue. Find your manners. They don't have very good manners. Um, but let's keep moving along. They have a water tank right here that gives them water. And they got the feeder. And this feeder is, I don't have to get into the cattle pen so I can feed them easier. I just go. And then they stick their heads through that and eat it. So, um, let's keep moving. There's always something to do on the farm. Every day we have cattle chores and we have to check fields. And we have to work, look at the irrigation stuff, and we have to maintain equipment. So, I've been farming with my dad my whole life. Growing up on the farm gives me great experiences. I plan on being a farmer when I grow up, and I'm already learning a lot. And I've already started buying my own cattle gates. Um, I've got my own cows. And I bought them with my own money I make from selling sweet corn. I really like being a farmer, and I really like working with my dad and being outside. I can't really imagine doing anything else. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.